All right, now I'm live. I had them. I tried to do this a minute ago, and it something's going on with YouTube. I don't know. But if you watch this in the replay, please make sure you leave a comment, leave a like. You know, say hello. Let me know you came through. I would appreciate it. That's called engagement. And if you really like me, engage a little bit. You don't even got to put me on your likes. Just leave a comment. I'll comment back. I'll say, hey, what's up, girl? What's up, guy? What's up going on in your life? That's what I will do. Now, I'm going to see, am I actually online? And people going to see me come through? Because I don't think this is working well. I had, a, I had an issue going live a minute ago. So I'm going to see, are people going to come through? I actually see that I'm here. So come on in, say hello. Love to hear from you. Because if no one's coming in and no one wants to see me, I won't go live this morning. I just stay, you know, going to do my thing by myself, you know, just, you know, I was going to share, you know, I'm all about sharing my life with you. So I'm having a little breakfast. Now, let me tell y'all, there's some fast shit right here. I am having butter pecan cornbread. It's so intense, I got to do it with a fork. Okay, y'all in here. I can see you now. Morning, Rita. Morning, Ash. I am eating butter pecan cornbread for breakfast with a whole lot of butter in it. And for real, got butter pecan, got pecans in it. This shit is fat. It's fine. There's some fat ass shit I'm having right now. Put a little orange juice. Make myself feel healthy. Oh my God, that's so good. <laughs> so there's um a new restaurant. Hey Kelly, a new restaurant opened up. Do y'all know who Darius Cooks is? Darius of Darius Cooks. I don't know that name is last. I know it's not his last name. Um, he's really well known. He really created a social media. Okay, so he began on Facebook. He used to just talk about. He used to do these little live these videos on Facebook talking about Father God. Please don't let me eat the Popeye's biscuits like this. And he used to talk about food. Then he started doing videos of him cooking. Then he did a pop-up restaurant. Well, he does pop. Then he started doing, going around the country and doing these pop-ups. Yep, he has his cookbook and he has his cookbook. So now he has restaurants. So he opened up his restaurant here in Chicago called Soul Crab. And baby, hey, Carol, this is the, the uh, and hey, Danny, and B went there, and she, they got butter pecan cornbread. This shit, hey, Karen, this shit is bananas. It's so good. You don't have video yet? That's crazy, because I, I can see what you're saying. I'm telling you, YouTube is not trying to let me be great, y'all. So that's what I'm having for breakfast. With a whole lot of butter on it. Butter pecan cornbread. This shit is insane. It's so good. It is insanely good. So I'm going to finally go over there and eat. I'm probably going to tell somebody to take me over there. Mm. Oh my. Um, it's here in Chicago. He just opened it up. It's brand new. He opened it up over the Labor Day weekend. His, his grand opening was over Labor Day weekend. 
And um, it's like in the Bucktown area, so it's like up north. Mm. But child, and she brought home, he had some, she had some um, greens from him. His ass know how to cook. He really know his food. The macaroni and cheese was to die for. Rita, you do. It's called Soul Crab. It's like 1900 Northwestern. <gasps> Maybe we could meet up one day, Karen, and go have it. Because it's up by you. So. Mm, mm, mm. Child is so good. I told you it is. Girl, his greens is fire, Danielle. Bye. And B said the the service was really good. She said the service was really good. They was really on point, which you know can always be hard when you first starting a restaurant. But that he was here. He came to town, you know, and really was whipping him into shape. Because from what she said, she heard him saying was that he fired his first staff because they couldn't get, they couldn't, they wouldn't, they didn't remember the menu. No, it's just called Greens and Gravy is the name of the restaurant. Ain't no gravy in his greens, girl. They are fat. And, um, yeah. It was awesomely good, though. This shit is awesomely good. <laughs> yeah, so a place here is called Soul Crab. I do know the one in Atlanta, one of his places in Atlanta, you know, he's gone cashless. I don't think he's cashless here in Chicago. Now, Rita, you're going to have them. Um, I'm going to tell you this, Rita. Go during the week. On the weekend, the line is ridiculous. I know some people who let, like let, waited like two hours to get in. But because it's brand new, I will go during the week. If you can get out this way during the week, I'll go during the week. Or be prepared to wait. Be prepared to wait. That shit was a foul. It was just enough, not too much, just enough. So I could have a fat ass moment, but not too much. Right. Uh-huh. Yep. Oh no. Be careful out there, Melissa. Have a good day. <laughs> you have a great day and you know, I'm so sorry about your family and why you have to be out there. Now, see, I was trying to do the right thing, but now I got to go be. And I ain't got no problem. Okay, whatever. Y'all are women. I got to go. I'll be right back. Don't y'all love the realness of this situation when I just walk away? Right. 
You ain't never said nothing. Okay, so we're gonna play with Norvina today and I'm gonna do my full face because I want to try out a few things. I want to try out, do I have my, oh. I'll be right back. I need this right keeping it authentic you know I got to be authentic as we do this so I want to talk about something while I'm doing the makeup and it's kind of goes with what we were saying and I kind of me and me and Ash were talking a little bit we talk all the time actually on, on Facebook so, hi, Nicole. I want to talk about saying no to makeup shaming. And I had this epiphany of a thought about it. And this is what I want to say about the makeup shaming that everybody is putting themselves through. Because like I said the other day, you know, you're seeing all these people doing these declutter videos and everything. And they're like, oh my god I can't believe I have this much makeup oh my god I can't believe I you know this is so terrible hi Sarah see oh that's another Sarah um you know and then you know and it's like oh this is so terrible I shouldn't have this much you know you can never use them in, uh, this in okay what I'm gonna say is we're gonna say no to this and we're not going to let people make us feel bad. And here's the reason why I feel like they're doing this to us. And we as women, women, men, whoever, people who wear makeup need to stop letting this shit happen. And so this is what I'm going to say about it. So here's what I'm going to say about it. Um, when it comes down to makeup, it is a very feminine thing. And we are allowing ourselves to be shamed for being women, for being feminine, for liking something pretty and spending our money on something that we like that makes us pretty that and it's, and it's superficial and it's frivolous. Well, guess what? The majority of things that people like to do on their off time to give them therapy, to stress relief, because trust me, this is therapy and stress relief for my black ass for my long ass week. Is this is something that is very feminine you know and i'm not gonna say it's just for women but it is very feminine to put on makeup whether you're male or female putting it on it is feminine and we are and as a whole in society we are told being feminine is frivolous and the things we do as women they're so soft and so ridiculous and everything right so Part of this makeup shaming is to say, how dare you, right, you know, how dare you, you know, you know, you're doing this and it's just so frivolous. Well, guess what? Everybody does frivolous shit, but it's acceptable frivolous shit. For instance, for instance, people love their sports teams, right? People will go out and get right right feminine things are always seen as soft as wheat so you know everybody like oh my god you know and and being feminine in our society is considered being soft and weak so anything that is remotely feminine is considered frivolous and ah you're just wasting it but you have people who love their sports teams and they will go and spend money on season tickets which are expensive as hell you know, got their memorabilia, they got their t-shirts, they got their hats, whatever. And that's okay, you know, because they're a sports fan. Well, I'm a makeup fan. You're a makeup fan. And there's nothing wrong with us liking to spend our money on something that we enjoy that makes us feel okay. So somebody, so somebody, Right, will cry when their team loses, get all in their feelings and everything. It's the same thing. So you're not going to make me feel bad because I like my makeup. And I don't think any of us should allow anyone to make us feel, you know, right. Right, exactly. And Carolyn, if you buy some, that's fine. 
but it is considered this whole thing like oh all of this is too much all this bad all this skincare and everything but if i was buying like clothes or you know shoes or going out to the movies all the time no one would really notice or talk about it because those are acceptable because everybody can do those things but because this is a very feminine thing we do and we live in a very masculine you know right you know come you know but because we live in a very masculine world how you know something this feminine <laughs> okay first off i'm gonna need to know what 20 palettes you got uh clearly i'm behind because <laughs> i need that i need i need to find out what 20 palettes you got right so that's what i'm saying so i think that we need to stop allowing people to make us feel shamed about it and i wish um right 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 only 20 danny right I was feeling bad now. I don't feel so bad now. Because I got 10. Yeah, she really does. So let's play with the Norvina. Um, yeah, so so this whole makeup shaming, you know, and, and, and couching it. And then we as... as oh, yeah, we're going to have to have a talk. Right, exactly, Carol. I'm going to need an August haul from you, Heifer. Danny, that's what I'm going to need. So let's talk about the palette. And so when it comes down to that, and I think that everybody is buying into this, oh, you're gross consumer. Exactly. Hey, girl, don't be feeling bad. The only... The only thing that you, if it's, if you're not eating for, make, for makeup and you got kids you're not feeding, then okay, you need to work. Then there, there's a problem there. But if your bills are paid, you eating fine, because we know I'm fluffy as hell. I'm fluffy as a fuck. So there before means I ain't missing no meals. And just because I bought some makeup, I should feel ashamed of myself. I should feel like, oh my God, I don't even want fuck y'all. I'm going to buy what I want with my money and I'm going to live my life. And yes, I can do more for the environment. I can do all those things. But the reality is most of us aren't doing that much. But you're going to come at me like, oh my God, what you do is terrible. Okay. Right. So, so, so when I watch them, it's, I, you know, it, it just feels like they're buying into this whole, we're going to shame y'all for liking makeup. And how dare you like makeup? Let's play with some colors. I think let's go super bright. I'm not going to go with the pink purples. Let's not go, okay, because I know the assumption is I'm going to go purple, right? Because I always go purple. You know why they're going bankrupt and doing that? Because they're doing other things with the money. You know, so yeah, I have to. Um, I have to now. I'm good. I'm breaking down my boxes. I'm will be recycling those. I want to start if I want to buy in a house, you know what? I'm gonna put in my backyard for real. I'm gonna put a colony of bees, I want to have a beehive. I will teach you know my baby to you know be okay with the bees, but I really do want to do that because. I, you know, the, the bee crisis is serious and I want to help the bees live. So I'm going to start a bee colony, a beehive. Right, it's the Cartier bracelets. It's all those other things they're doing trying to have the look of an influencer. You know, yes, you did. Yeah, the cat colony might have a little problem with it. I don't know though, because I don't think there would be a problem. I don't know. They might be able to, to deal with it. We should look up with that because they might be okay with it. Okay, so. Hi, Nay. So I'm going first in with this one right there. Right there. Right. Yeah, so I, I want to help, you know, as little in, in any way possible I can help these bees live because we need them. Right, exactly. So, 
So we're going to have, and you know what? Right, so it's not the makeup community. It's about what you choose to do with your money and how you're trying to live and you're trying to give this floss all the time. Like, you've got everything. Everybody's mind all the no, trying to buy designer bags and shit and you, can't, and you can't keep that pace up. So you have to, so instead of saying, oh my God, it's the makeup and everything, say no, it was the, it was the way I chose to live. So I'm using E4 in here, just so you know. they're they're doing that because of the views because like i said it's about this makeup shaming thing we have going on which says right that you have to get rid of things because how dare you have all these things you know but listen i ain't getting rid of shit i like and i ain't gonna feel bad about it i'm trying to talk shit and do my do my eyes is that a good idea i don't know right well on the real if they're actually buying birkins but they're really not buying all the birkins they're saying they are because birkins a have a wait list things like that um birkins have a very good resale value so when it comes down to that you can get rid of them there is an aftermarket for them a serious aftermarket but you're not going to get, and depending on what you have, you can get some of it back. Hey, baby. Uh, hey, Michelle. But, girl, Carol, I got some. We already did mine. I got some that are almost 10 years old. Yeah, luxury bags have a very good resale value depending on the, when you're talking serious luxury bags, when you're talking the Louis Vuittons, the Gucci's, the um, Birkins, Hermes, certain ones. Right. And it's okay to declutter. It's nothing wrong with getting rid of things, but it's like they're doing this whole, oh my God, I just, I just feel so overwhelmed. I just, yeah, you need to get the ones that, cause Coach has good, good resale. Coach is a classic. So you can always resell Coaches. You know, don't nobody care about Michael Kors. He's one of those those brands. Fendi always get, gets a good resale because those are classic ones. Oh yeah, you gotta recycle your mat to get your free lipstick. So, you know, it's like, I'm not gonna let you make me feel bad. And I think everybody needs to get out that habit. But that's the new thing on YouTube is to feel like shamed because you have this makeup. I bought all this makeup and I don't feel shamed. I can't believe. Well, if you didn't, if you want to put your money someplace else, that's one thing. But you ain't got to feel shame because of it. Like, for instance, I know I want to buy some new furniture. I need to buy stuff for my, my house. I need to buy stuff for my beauty space. Well, that means I'm going to have to cut back on some of my spending on makeup. So I have to make a decision at that point. Now, am I going to get rid of some shit? Hell no. And when I got some money again, will I buy some more? Hell yeah. Will I look? Will I do a Hannah Louise posting and start begging y'all to buy me some stuff? I had to buy furniture this week. I bought this. Right. Right. And... And if that's what you want to do, then that's fine. But then, and and that's a personal choice, but it shouldn't make you feel shameful. People shouldn't feel shameful for it. Listen, I'm I'm just saying, Danny. I'm just saying. I'm 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 just saying. <laughs> but you shouldn't feel bad for your choices to have makeup. Because everybody has something that they enjoy whether it's watching tv all day like for me like for me i don't own a tv so i can't understand having a huge bill every month for cable why because i don't i don't have one did you i'm thinking about getting it because i want to try sugar pill and i thought that would be a good intro palette so 
So, you know, it's like, so for me, when people are talking about cable and how much they pay for it, I'm like, what the hell? But I don't down it for it. Did you get it, Karen? So we're going to do a similar, but we're going to go right. Right. Did you? How do you like it? So, you know, so for me, I don't spend money on that. So therefore, right, exactly. And, and you, and whatever you want to do, it's up, it's your money. Do what you want with it. Hi, how are you? But all these people doing this whole, oh my God, I feel so bad. Why? Because somebody told you you should feel bad. You know, so because somebody told you you should feel bad about your what you like. Okay, cool. So I know to get it. And for the record, I did get the set and refresh. Right, exactly. To me, two hundred dollars. Damn, I get a lot of makeup. Right, so because that's what they like. That's where they get their entertainment. Exactly. But that's the thing. People won't see it when it's their thing. Hey, Lily. And like I said, I'm, I feel, you know, we are really being shamed. Oh, is it? Because, yeah, that creepy cute ain't that great on medium skin. Hi, Gemini love. How are you? Um... Let me pull this out a little bit on this side because I always do this. I never blow it out as much as I do on the right side. So I have this more out. Well, this is my thing. We're, see, shoes are okay because everybody wears shoes. People can... Um, <laughs> my honey complexion. <laughs> So I'm trying to like honey coated complexion chap. Okay. And so that's the thing with it is like, so we're being told that we must feel shamed because we like something like this. And it's very intrinsic to being feminine. Whether you're male or female, it's still intrinsic to a feminine, you know, person. So, so stop letting people tell you that you're wrong for liking what you like. I'm going to go with D1, which is this brighter yellow right here. We're going to put that on top. Going to put that on top. So we no, we're not doing that no more. Well, I never did it. Let's just be. You know. I'm not even going to sit up here and lie. Um, I never felt shame. And I never will. And I, I, I'm just not going to do that. Right. And just because I put money on, onto this doesn't make. Did you? All right, Gemini. Yes, get them together. You say you gathered them. So let's get a good blend. Right. Okay. Exactly. But you should. Let me tell you something. Life life has enough shit that we got to worry about and that we have to deny ourselves and we have to sacrifice. If you buying yourself a little makeup here and there makes you feel happy and gives you some, you know, relief and stress and do it. Just do it. Because we are, you know, we're, we're supposed to, for some, this can be the difference between being at home depressed and feeling good about yourself. And to say that it's bad for me to feel good about myself by making myself pretty, fuck you too. Right, you right. You gotta pay yourself, and um, cause am I hurting you because I do this? No. Okay, so you all in your feelings because of how I choose to enjoy myself, 
because you see it as superficial and frivolous and very shallow. I think it is too. I ain't, I ain't the best artist at it. So I'm going to use D3, which is this red right here. We're going to put that right. Every time I walk, at least I, I always look cute. Now what's your what, what's problem with you? Don't be mad because you dry face. Right. Ooh. I'm going to be cleaning up these edges. Ooh, I'm just saying, oh, dry face ass. I was going to tell somebody how they need to look. Just a little sparkle, a little, a little glitter. A little glitter ain't hurt nobody. These are not super powdery. You know how Anastasia can be very powdery? These are not as powdery as her normal formula. But it's very intense. It's very intense. It's a very intense color. It really will. Baby, a good highlighter will change your life. Will have you going, damn. Because until I understood the power of highlighter, I was like, why are they putting all that highlighter on? Until I got a good look at myself on, I said, shit. I said, so this is what I've been missing? <laughs> I was like, this is, so I've been missing this, huh? bright as the sun right now. I is bright, y'all. I is bright. I is bright. I is bright. I is bright. Yes, I am. We gonna put a little more of this yellow. We're just gonna make sure we got a good blend on the top. On the top, and I'm gonna send another. I'm gonna tag uh, Allure on this. Fuck you, Allure. Every time I do something, I'm gonna send it. I'm tagging the ass on IG. This is how women of, with, of age wear bright colors. This is how we wear it. Go a little D5, which is. Should I do D5? No, I'm going to go E5 because I'm going to go with that. Right, exactly. Girl, you get a good highlighter. And you'd be like, what was I thinking of before? Oh, yeah, so I use E5, which is like this um kind of burgundy color, as opposed to doing black. Uh oh, I'm going to tell y'all before y'all leave, y'all better hit the like button before y'all go. I'm just telling y'all that now because I'm going to hunt all 16 of y'all down if I don't see it. Just let y'all know now. Did you? How's the person you panned? Okay. Look, somebody left when I said I'm going to hunt y'all down. Why did. What, wait a minute, why did somebody leave? They was like, fuck you, bitch. I ain't going, I'm not going to like you. I don't like you. I'm leaving. Bye. Don't tell me what to do. Do not tell me what to do. You ain't my mama. You are not my mother. 
Oh, that's good. Two and 23 months? That's awesome. I ain't depending on nothing but some powders. I do on um, um, powder foundation. Uh, this down a little bit. Ooh, oh, in 12 months? Oh, yeah, you've been highlighting the hell out your face. Did you? Okay. Okay. She's looking kind of cute. Okay, let's let's clean up the lid a little bit. Let's clean the lid up a little bit. Oh. Hi, Janine. Okay, so four. So, so four. Did I say so four? So far, I'm liking the um your okay, girl Carol. I'm liking the 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 eyeshadow. It's very you see it's super bright on here. You see it's just doing like butter. It's blending very well. It's really, you know, doing the damn it's doing the damn thing. Let's just say that it's doing the damn thing. <laughs> I got all excited and angry. It's like, damn it, don't you see? It's doing a damn thing. Um, let me just take this. Let the brush. Right? And so we gonna clean up just a little bit, just a little bit. Cause see, I blended it. See, in that in that allure article, they'd have left it right here and be like, okay, she got color on her eyes. That shit made me salty. <laughs> All right. I don't know yet. We can figure this out. Let's figure it out. Let's see how it's gonna look. Let me just clean up the lid a little bit. This is when you get quiet, you don't say much, trying to be still. Ah, uh, thank you. Oh, oh, I bet you. Oh, now you just started a monster girl getting them eyebrows done. You ain't gonna be able to tell her nothing with them eyebrows done. Did you get them threaded or waxed? My eyebrows have not been, so I just clean them up now because they don't really grow that much. Honey, age slows down a lot of things. good all right so let's talk about what i'm gonna do on my lids so let's choose a color 
Let's choose a color for the lids. I got an idea since you said purple. I almost just dropped this. I just want y'all to know, and I'd have been sick as a motherfucker. Okay. So let's look at the colors we have. Ooh, let me see something. I might have an idea. Let me see what I'm gonna, if it, how it works out. Okay, I know I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. All right, so let me get this. So what, y'all still there? Because I'm talking to myself at this point. Okay, so I am going to use B1, which is this beautiful purple matte first. So let's get that B1 on the lid. But if you have really nice eyebrows, you might not need to do it. Hey, Coco. right well has the unibrow ever been that attractive the only person who can get away with it is uh frida i mean let's just be honest the only person who could get away with a really good unibrow is frida kahlo i mean let's just be honest let's just be honest <laughs> that's the one place that I cannot that I don't grow like I grow hair over here on my chin my eyebrows is fine I'm barely getting it but them damn chin hairs ain't not growing don't you hate that the, the... okay so I'm going with this purple so far so far right now oh Coco just so you know we're using the Norvina I can't see shit. I close my left eye. You just, girl, I will shave that bitch like a dude. That lip will be shaved just like I'm a dude. I'm not laughing. I'm not laughing. I, you, Nicole, I will give you kudos for that. Because I have gotten my upper lip threaded. And I, like I said, I almost, yeah, yeah, I'm about to start dermal playing too. Um, I almost beat that bitch down. I was like, nope. I did that shit one time. But like I said, the worst right here. Yeah, I know they, they really have is getting don't let the bitch do not let her talk you into getting your side burns threaded. I promise you, you you might be in jail. Cause I almost went to jail because I'm gonna beat that half a damn. Yeah, I need to get some more. Um baby, thank you. Oh, okay. The 
Okay, so she's Okay, so got this down. Let me finish this up. Jan, I didn't see you. Hey, girl. Hey, Jan. Um, it is B1 right here. So it's B1, and now watch what I'm about to do to B1 though, because I had a good, I, I had a thought, and this is what we're gonna do with B1. So what we're gonna do is, um, let me find what I'm looking for. for this will work. Is it? It's gonna be a nice day. I'm going to look. I'm gonna put on all this makeup, and y'all know what I'm about to do. I'm about to go outside and spray paint my um, bed finally because we had it's not windy. I don't know anything about the Ipsy bags because I don't do any um, any of those anymore. And I never really was an Ipsy person. Yeah, what is that? So now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to take this color E1 right here and I'm going to layer it on top of the purple to give it like an iridescent feel. So let's see how this looks. If it don't look good, I can always take it off. So yeah, like as I was saying, we're going to stop letting people shame us for our makeup. We're not going to hide Kabuki Rose. We are not going to let them make us feel bad about our makeup choices anymore. We not living that life at all. So if somebody talks about, oh my God, you have so much makeup. Okay, and I do, fuck you. Okay, you don't have to respond like I would. $50 a month. Mm. See, my thing is, um, for me, I'll just stick to mine what I want. I think they are very good for people who love them because they do give you a lot of things to try out, things like that. But I'll be like, damn, $50. Right. I can go buy some, some real shit that I want. I'm going to buy me an indie palette for $50. Okay, so let me see what I'm going to do. What y'all think? Right, I can see quarterly. But $50 is a lot every month. Thank you. Now, that makes sense. It's a good gift. No, you know, um, it, you know, Boxy does their Boxy Lux every quarter. Hey, what am I looking for? Okay, y'all. Okay, here we go. Nice. Okay, so let me do a little blending right on the edge.
It does sound like a good. Right. Honestly, I was thinking about doing that again to Bossy Charm, you know, like, because I'm not subscribed and they keep sending me that stuff. I'm like, so what y'all gonna give me? Oh, see, you know, I got, like you, like you ain't got all the dose of colors palettes. Right. Oh, I have them all. The only one I don't have is the cool one, and I didn't want it. Snow Angels is not as good as the other ones. Of all of the, the uh, matte ones, that is the not as good. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, were you agreeing with me, Danny? The colors are gorgeous. I mean, you can work with them, but they're just not the same quality. Why, thank you. Thank you, Jen. Um, we talking about, um, in reference to Allure Magazine did this horrible, yeah, it takes more work, right? I can work with it, but it does take more work than their normal shadows do. I love how everybody knows each other now. They'd be like, hey, how you doing? long time no see okay y'all i'm feeling her what do y'all think oh there was an article where they were doing this thing about women that you know older women can wear bright color um, makeup and it was terrible it was terrible jan it was like the the looks they did on these older women of course you haven't. And they were like, not the best. It was, well, that's why I, I'm gonna take pictures. Right, don't add, that's another trigger. That's another trigger. <laughs> that's another one of my triggers. Well, I, <laughs> Well, it was just the eye looks were not that flattering. You know, it made it look like, I was wondering what an ax was. You know, but it's not as triggering as Beauty Bakery cake pop lippies. It's not as bad as cake pop lippies. You know, y'all gotta give me some credit. I've gotten better. <laughs> I've gotten better. I don't get so heated up about things. I was not as riled up as I was. <laughs> I probably will. Yeah, when I get paid, I'll probably, I can't. I can't afford it now. I wish I could use the five times the points. I would love to, but um, if I get it, if I get it, I'll be getting it at the end of this week when I get paid. Cause I ain't got no money right now, and I have to be real with myself. I was like, bitch, you ain't got no money. So why you why you trying to why you trying to front like you can pay for some shit right now? You can't pay for nothing. Girl, no. Stop it. <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> you kind of like them. <laughs> I'm good. I'm not getting riled up. Let me show y'all. I've had this stuff forever. It, it, and I bought it just to mess with y'all. I got this. I was in, I saw Black Radius. This was like on clearance. That's why I bought it. It's their pressed powder. This is the lightest one they have. It's called Honey Glow. <laughs> I 
and I bought it because I said how much I, I've had it sitting here for a while. I've been to show y'all this. Can I open it? Did I finally get it open? And I was like, is this me? No, Louise, it's not you. I was like, uh, no, you cannot. On my hand, it can work. Wait a minute, though. <laughs> Now, I still might get that. <laughs> so, I got a new bronzer. <laughs> Let's see how it looks before I put on anything. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Let's see how it looks on me. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's just take that off now. I'm looking for my damn eyeliner so I can do this damn wing. Thank you. <laughs> it was like a dollar forty nine, okay? Right, if I ever need a transition shade, I can use it. Thank you. Thank you, Coco. See, Coco got my back while y'all and while y'all talking shit about me. Why y'all talking shit about me, Coco got my back. Y'all ain't even think. I'm just trying to do it out here. Okay, so let me figure this out. Let me figure this out. Why are the where the fuck is my um on real? I cannot find my eyeliner. Which it says it's time to buy some new damn eyeliner because you don't know where the hell your eyeliner's at. <laughs> Coco's just trying to help me. Don't 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 get don't be mad because she loves me more than y'all do. Okay, y'all love me though. Y'all do love me. <laughs> y'all do love me. I can't say y'all don't. <laughs> but I saw the shit. <laughs> no, I, Jed, it's okay. I know them. Um, <laughs> I saw this. I said, I'm bad at shit. That's what, and I'm like, you know what? And I think black race is cool because they, you know, but they ain't got nothing for me. Child. They don't have anything for me. No, man. They don't have anything for me. I can't even pretend that I can uh, rock this shit. Is this black? Okay. Y'all, I really. Oh, there it is. It's sitting right in front of me. But I do need to get some new. Because uh, I am so cheap when it comes to uh, gel eyeliners. I'm like, this shit worked just fine. Fuck you. I don't have to buy a $17 one. I don't need the $17 one. The $7.99 one works just fine. Yeah, Snow Angels is okay. I, I ain't I ain't beating down the door to use it. Jen, this is a running joke because apparently I don't know what complexion I am. I think I'm that I think I'm honey complexion. I'm definitely I'm gonna get it. I'm just not getting it this week. No, nah, I know they love me. Right, right. I wouldn't be sorry now. I would not be sorry if it showed up in my P.O. box. Hell, to be honest. Oh, no. <laughs> no they're not bad mocking me. It's a running joke that I think I'm hunting complexion when I'm really not. I have a thing... Honey, don't nobody badmouth me. They ain't crazy now. Um, I, well, I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna get it. L let me be clear, Amy. I'm gonna get it. I'm just not getting it today. <laughs> I want to get it because of the five times the points. But, you know, since it's 30% off, I'll still probably get it. Right, you know, because I'm... I am I'm honey all day long. 
which I be tripping on. That's why I'm have bees so I can prove to y'all that I'm honey. My complexion is honey color. Now, wages. Now, I wish I could do one of those huge wings. I wish I could do one of those really huge wings like some people do. I want a huge ass wing. But when I do, but when I do um, do the large wing, it just gets out of control. And it never works right. <laughs> Extra light whipped honey. <laughs> Hi, Dre. Y'all know I love you. Right, they. Okay, there we go. Wait a minute, is that the little Dre? Dre, you know what? Um, hey Dre, do you be doing lives with them and stuff? Are you that Dre? Cause I never did know your whole name. Cause if you are, hey boo, you are hilarious. Okay, then I know who you are. Hey, hey. Do you know all this time I didn't know that was you, Dre? I didn't. Right. right. I, know, I know who he is. I just, I've watched him before. I've seen him on live. I just, okay. So that's about as good as my wing gets. I cannot do the big wing because when I do, it gets out of control and it becomes a thick, maddening thing that does not work well. That's all I'm saying. So I just, I'm just giving up on it. I'm just giving up. That's true. I probably won't. If you have a hood, hooded eye with wing, check out Nicole. Check out Alyssa Ashley. She did a whole thing on how to do a wing on a hooded eye. So I do a little baby cat eye-ish wing. I just do a little baby cat eye wing. And it, and it, you ain't got to have a wing. I'm doing it because this look calls for a wing. No, no, that's somebody outside. No, that's somebody outside knocking something. Oh, okay. Ooh, look at me, look at me. Now y'all see how my eye does on the side, bitch. But okay, we gonna, we gonna roll with her. No, her name is Juicy. Oh, I'm, did I say her name? 
I call I call Stray Cat Juicy. Um, this is gel with a pin. I always do, I like gel. I told y'all she's still in the interview process. Yeah, if you're doing, I'm gonna do a gel. Gel stays on forever. The gel ain't coming off. Okay, Coco, I got it. I got it. I got it. Mine is up. I'm going to go pick it up in a little bit. Look at Lily coming in just to talk about me. Um, mine is at the at my post office box. I'm going to go pick it up after I do my ads. Okay, so we are going to try out, where is it at? The Dose of Colors. What I do with it? What I do with it? What I do with it? I see she is. She's like, don't be coming at, don't be acting like you don't love that cat. Don't be acting. Mel's ganja grinders. What are those? <laughs> see, I thought I had gotten away and you weren't here, Lily. Yeah, I got it. I did. Okay. I wasn't supposed to tell that one yet, but yeah, that's one of my palettes for this month for set for August. I sure did. I remembered it the last night. I was like, oh shit. Because they be, um, this will be my first one. Because I'm still trying to get the olive one. And when I went to go order it, I couldn't get it. I have not tried the gel eyeliners from ColourPop yet. I'm meaning to. Because to be quite honest. Oh, oh, I didn't, I didn't need it. Oh, okay. So I didn't need that, huh? Actually, though, B has one. If I needed one, there is one in the house. If I needed one. What real jobs are you applying for? Well, I I was trying to get the juicy out and that one. I was gonna splurge and get them both. And that bitch was not. Oh <gasps> see, that's part of her 20. That's part of that 20. Oh, I'ma need you. Yeah, I'ma need, I'ma need a whole video on this bullshit. I am using uh the Norvina Collection One. Right here, right here. Okay, okay, girl. Okay, right, I, right, I need 18 more to know. Okay, so I'm gonna put some of this on in my T-zone because I'm gonna use, if I could find the damn thing, what did I do with it? Oh, there it is. Okay, so here we go. Oh, Danny needs to do a video soon. Stats, we need to see this shit. Let me put some water on this. Yeah, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start sounding like the damn black eyed peas. Remember, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be. <laughs> Did y'all catch that music reference? Did y'all catch that music reference? I'm trying to wet this damn Sonia Kashuk thing. And I'm not gonna leave, so I got a spray bottle here, so I'm trying to spray. Don't get on my stuff now. Yeah, I'm loving it. 
How's half of this? Oh, cause she be posting it up in the group. Don't be. Okay, wait a minute. First off, we we're not gonna allow you to say that, Danny, because you buy stuff and don't nobody know you buy shit. You be buying so much stuff. We don't we don't even hear about it until later on. You say, oh, that was a good product. Product. Ashley, we're not taking none of that from from her. I'm not taking that from either one of y'all. Y'all be shopping. Will you slow down, Ash? But Danny, you'll be talking about something and all such shit. Oh, yeah, I got that two days ago. It was in the mail. You are the person who bought your whole entire wish list at Sephora. Not this one, but the last VIP. So don't try that with me, sister. Girl, don't let her say that because she was, she was buying it. Okay, so I'm going to put a little of this on. I'm just telling the truth about her. I'm going to put a little of my Evermat on. Listen, Ash, she's just trying to make you, she's just trying to, to deflect from her, her, her 20 palette something August. I done put way too much. Y'all see how much I got here? What the hell? Okay, so I'm doing a little mattifying right here. Because if you need to be mad. And I was feeling bad about my 10. And I was like. I was like me and 10. I was feeling. Right, honey, trust me. And and she just telling us about the palette. She ain't telling us about everything else she bought. Because I know Danny. I know Danny. There's more to this story than 20 palettes. How many, how much, how many uh blushes did you buy? How much bronzer did you buy? Okay, so I'm gonna put some of this on for my pores. This is the elf poreless putty primer. Hello, goodbye. Why can't I find my thing to pick this up with? Why am I doing it like this? So now I got this shit all underneath my nail because I did this wrong. Okay, so you only bought two bronzers. Which bronzer? Any blush? Any foundation? any foundation you know I had to ask you know I had to ask Honey, Viva La High Brow by went Viva La Broke. Tr I, okay, let me say this. I didn't. Sp okay, so let me give y'all the updates. So, I am not going to be buying. I'm trying not to buy that much in September. Right. Right. Um, because I'm going to the makeup show at the beginning of October. So that's when I'm. That's when I'm gonna um lose my damn mind. Yes, I'm even the broke right now. Um, so I'm good, and so that's when I'm gonna splurge out and buy a bunch of stuff because I want a bunch of brushes. I want to get some Smith brushes. I'm gonna hit crown brushes. Um, Moira Cosmetics. There's a few places because it's not the makeup show here in Chicago is not that big, but it's big enough, and it's got enough shit there for me to have a good time. So I'm gonna shop then, and uh. Oh no! And you did something, Carol. You just didn't do it. You just didn't do it big like Miss Miss Danny did. Now Miss Danny take Miss Danny did it up. Um, they not gonna have reefer there, but I am probably gonna buy some eventually. Um, right. 
Um, I am going to get theirs eventually, but I want to try Smith. I want to try that. Bedellium's there too, so I want some of theirs. And um, I'm probably going to buy my Smashbox by I need the foundation. All right, so let's play. Dose of Colors. I got it in 117 light medium. Oh, I know stars. Hollywood Amy yes she has over 1400 palettes I've seen hers I saw but I'm trying to remember because I thought she had more palettes than that but maybe she didn't I know who you're talking about yes I've watched her. all right so we're doing this one okay right yeah um and i ain't mad at her you know it's like so we're gonna do a couple of pumps of this see how this looks well <laughs> pressing it in with the brush and then i'm gonna hit it with the now remember this is lighter because this is my winter shade but i want to try it out to see how it feels on the skin so that's why I'm putting it on, even though I know, y'all see how light this is? No, this is Dose of Colors. Did y'all see how light this is? I told y'all I had a damn tan. But since, oh, shit. Cause this is my winter color. No, it's my winter color, I ain't gonna lie. I have a tan now. Mm-hmm, I do. Cause this is my winter color. I just want to try it out. I'm going to put a... I'm going to bronze it up so it won't look so crazy in a minute. And with a little powder, it will be... Right, because we live in Chicago. I can't be stuck on my tan color. At least I was honest with myself this time. Oh, yeah, your tan is better than mine, Jen. Yes, your tan is better than mine. It's not, it, I promise in the wintertime, this is my color. I'm gonna darken it up, I promise. We're gonna darken this shit up. Because the next up color was way too dark for me. But I wanted to see how it wore, uh, cause somebody was asking me about it. Cause this is not the way I would look. So let's fix this up. We gonna fix her up. Cause we gonna go a little bit darker on the fat, on the concealer. Honey, it does though. Listen, we about to go darker on the concealer. I got this. We gonna go darker on the concealer. We're gonna press this out. And then I'm gonna use a different one. He say I'm cremated. Trust me, I got this. I got some darker, listen, I got some darker powders. We gonna make this work. So we're going to use this medium right here because I'm going to darken this whole face up. Oh, shit. We are going to darken this whole face up. And you're going to go, oh, my God, she looks like a real person. And I'm going to say, yes, of course I do. Did y'all think I was going to walk out like this? Did y'all really think? Did y'all really? No, because this is a darker one. This is my medium, so this is pretty much my color. He said cremation number five. And I thought we was friends and shit, Dre, but okay, I see we really not friends. <laughs> he said, really, Jen? Really, Jen? That was a good one, too. <laughs> that was good. Okay, but real talk. Here's real talk. You know, there's a lot of people who walk out like this, right? Because I didn't see too many of my darker skinned sisters walking around three shades lighter than they really are. And we know they do this all the time. See you, Danny. And y'all know I ain't lying. Cause I done looked at some sisters and I'm like, 
What happened on your color? They will cancel out half their melanin. Right, exactly. Because I've been looking at what happened to your melanin? Where did it go? Please come back. Bring it back, please. We love it. We love it. So I'm going to, I have a darker powder. So watch, we're going to darken this up and then bronze it up and it'll all work out. Right, exactly. That's why we're going to fix this shit. Okay. Let me set this real quick. You know, honestly, you look crazy either way. But yes. Light always looks like, what is she doing with herself? Why does she look like this? See, because I do think that I'm darker. So, watch this. Right, exactly. And you're looking at them like you do notice about 17 shades lighter than you are, right? Right? And I have to be nicer because, like, for me, I see people talking about, oh, light skin, and I be thinking, now that's very true. I'm just going to use this one. That is very true. They do wear the uh incredibly dark they put on that cell tanner because you're looking at them when because what it is you look at them when they first with before they put it on and then they start putting on their foundation and you're like you do notice like three shades lighter than you right i mean darker than you right I'm only gonna wear this for a little bit in the house and then I'm gonna take off the face, leave the eye makeup on. Yeah, and then actually put on what I'm gonna wear. I actually, why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Why am I doing this? Hold up, hold up. Hey, how are you? Cause we getting rid of all of this. Yeah, cause when I purchased it, I was like, okay, this is not my color now, but this will be me in the summer, in the winter time. Hey, Bella. Yeah, this is my regular complexion, which is kind of sad when you think about it. Hi, Trisha. Are you new? I don't think I've ever seen you. Okay, so what you missed is I'm trying out my dose of colors, but it is my summer, my winter color. And I kept telling you people that I had a tan and no one would believe me until I put this shit on. And I looked like I was about to go to, you know, here lies Lulu. She was a nice girl. She was a nice lady. We liked her. You know, she was a nice lady. We did like her, but her skin, you know. Um, so far, yes, I think it wears, this is my first time putting it on and I want to give it a little wear test, uh, to see how it feels, but it feels very light on the skin. Good medium coverage. Bronzer. Where is my bronzer? Gonna put on a little bronzer. Little bronzer. Who's a 
liar. That I think I'm darker than I am. Oh, they working in the building next door. That's what they're doing. At least they ain't on the roof no more. Oh, I was a liar. I was a liar. What, that I'm honey colored? Well, I have a, a nice oily T-zone, so we will find out. I told you we, I would fix it up. I do have, so you see how light this is? No, Bella, it's lighter than me. to show you honey i'm gonna have to show you what honey looks okay never mind i was thinking about the honey i have in my house that won't work that won't work okay so i'll just leave that one alone <laughs> as i marched into righteous indignation no wait i am honey smash box a blaze where is all right all right i can break it but i did though <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, a little bit, yes. <laughs> right, because you see I dropped it. And I dropped it face down. But it's okay. So it's not as bad. So we've gotten rid of those lines. What'd she say about me that I, I look like I dropped my face? <laughs> Did you say? Fuck, I just saw what you said. I'm thinking you said flower. You just got me out here like that, huh? This is blush, and then I'm going to put this highlighter on, this peachy one. This peachy one right there. I'm going to look all sunset -y. Sunset. -y. This is the Ablaze palette by um, Smashbox. Because we saw, I was like, <gasps> we all had a, there was a pause in the community, in the community to make sure. Okay. See ya. Have a great day, Nicole. See that? Ain't she pretty? Okay. And now let me set this down. Okay. I would have been sad too, Dre. So now I do not look quite as crazy. Let me do my brows and we're going to do my under eyes. Do my brows. And then do my under eyes and put on some lashes and some lipstick. I think we're going to go with a nice nude, nude lipstick because I got all these nude glosses to play with.
Yes, it is. No, it's not going to be that kind of nude. And the reason why I'm going to go, because the, the eyes are so intense, Jan, that I want it to be all about the eyes. And, and I don't always do nudes. So it's going to be like a, um, a brown nude. At least I don't have a copper eye new lip. At least I'm not doing Manny. Yeah. I'm not doing Manny, right? Now remember, I'm not like the queen of the brows. I do, now I do do old lady brows. Hey. Listen, everybody got their style. And that is Manny. Yes, yes, yes. They are going to look good on Insta. Because this is definitely an IG look. This is definitely IG all day long but you know I don't have that perfect um, eye for uh, eyebrow for Instagram you know that's what he should have done Dre you are absolutely right because he is known for the you know the uh, the new lip A little gel on here. Pop them up just a little bit. <laughs> well, he seems to have a decent laugh he works with. He hasn't had any quality issues at this point. Oh, okay. I'm about to show you in a second. I'm using the Norvina. Right. Dre, we oh, listen, I try to help these people all the time. They don't listen to us. They because we're small people, they don't think we understand what's out here in these streets. And then they don't listen to us. And we know what's going on in these streets because we the small folks. Right? Now, I want y'all to see that I do not look as pale. What you talking about? His uh, strawberry moon, strawberry dream, whatever it is. I'm actually thinking about getting it. Because I've been trying to help people for a long time. You know, Jacqueline should have been listening to me. Oh, now I do have love the highlights. Um, Jacqueline should have listened to me because I'd have helped save her little stupid butt. She was here in Chicago. We could have had lunch together. We could have talked about her business plan. Worked on how she was on her comeback trail. But she don't want to play with me. Okay. Oh, uh, thank you. Okay, so let's see. I, well, it works really well. It's not as powdery as um, the usual... Anastasia, but here's looking at it in real life. I just watched this of it all yesterday. Um, so underneath the eye, I'm going to go with E4. I'm gonna start there. No, no, no. Mm -mm, mm -mm. I don't do red under the eye. Okay, so let's go with a little purple, and I know. Yes, they are. I'm going to go with a nice, I'm gonna go with, uh, no, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do this one and then I'm gonna go purple. So I'm gonna go E4. Underneath the eye.
here go um right yeah she tainted it now anybody who comes out with a with a uh but the thing is is that anybody who comes out with a nude um natasha denona came out with her nudes but you know natasha can't do no wrong That would be cool if Manny did come out with him now. And then blew it away. Smoke this out. Look, I got a baby shower to give. I gotta watch my coins till Black Friday. I got a grandbaby on the way. I ain't got time for. I'm gonna go pick her up once I put my makeup on. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is then I'm gonna go with B1 underneath here. Well, I will say this, it's not that, it's not super powdery like her um, normal shadows are. I think I'm cute, y'all. I think I am cute. Just so y'all know. In case y'all thought I wasn't cute, I think I'm cute. I think that I am. Matter of fact, I think I'm motherfucking cute. Matter of fact, I think I'm just freaking adorable. I think I'm, so, I'm gonna use this pink, which is B3. In the corner. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm going to pick mine up. And then I'm going to go over with the little gold. Okay. Okay. Let me spray some fix plus on this face while we talk for a few minutes and let that settle down and then put on my lashes and my mascara am i just the only one who like drowns in fix plus Am I the only one who drowns in Fix Plus? Don't let me be by myself, y'all. Do not let me. Okay, first off, I am loving my, my look. Okay, the eyes are doing it for me. I feel pretty. You know, because we got to fix this shit. Damn. Right, exactly. Exactly, because what is the point of it if I'm not drowning in it? And then I'm going to put on some setting spray afterwards. 
That's why I need to go get me that solstice because I do need some setting spray. I do need a new thing of Urban Decay because mine is all old and crusty. So I need a new one. If it's, if it's half off, I got to get it. I got to hoe up on $16.50. I got to hoe up. Vintage Rose is the Give Me Glow Cosmetics. Oh, don't worry. You can put them up. I'm going to do a swatch. We're going to see that tomorrow. Um, I want the Morphe spray too. I'll be doing it on my haul. I'm going to do my August haul tomorrow. And I have it. I got to go pick it up from the post office. I do feel a little pale right now. But I don't feel as pale. Okay, y'all, I'm loving these. Okay, so Norvina. I got saw her with a matter of fact, I got had a phone call. <laughs> okay. So here's the whole thing. I gotta say, how many colors did I use? Let's talk about the colors I use before I put on my lashes. Okay, so let's look at it. Here's the colors that I use. I want that one, but it wasn't in. Right, the Urban Decay All Night, if you get the Summer Solstice Carol, is half price at Ulta right now. So you might want to go and get you some. Okay, so I used E4. I used D3. So I used E4 in the crease. And then I used D1 up on the upper brow bone to blend it out. Then I used D3 right here on the outer corner. And then I darkened it up with this E5 right here. And then I cleaned up my, my lid and I used B1 first. I la layered B1 on and then I la layered this E1 on top of it. So that's what I did. So that's what I did on the eyes. And I think they came out really nicely. They came out good. They came they looking good. So let's put on some lashes. Because it ain't a look without lashes, y'all. I would fluff my hair, but y'all can't see this fluff because it's been in this bun for three or four days. So that's going, this is going to be, this is, this is that extra fluff look. Thank you, Dre. Thank you, Jan. So this is going to be that extra work it out fluff. Um, are my baby G's clean? I need to clean my lashes. Who I need to clean some lashes? Oh yeah, I need to clean these babies. Let me, let, you know, I'm pull out a brand new pair of lashes. Cause I have my favorites. I love my baby G's. I love my Allures. I love my, let me see who else I like. I like my Iconics. I like the Allure lights too. Um, let's try a new pair. Oh, I wear these too. Honey, it could have been a week. Ain't no telling. Then I, I do like these Nadia ones by Ruby May. Uh, who are these? These are some, oh, these are my tees. They need to be clean too. I love these tees lashes. I have a thing for like cat eye, the winged out lash. Okay, let's see what I got in here that I can check real quick. I'm not going outside in those. Um, hmm. Let me just grab a pair of these pop right quick. Bye. Bye, Amy. Have a good day. Okay, I'm just going to pop on some allures. These are Coco Lashes. These are some of my favorites. I'm just going to throw them on. Wait, thank you. Thank you all so much. I appreciate it. And thank you all for hanging out with me while I decided to put on this makeup. And we're gonna, I'm gonna do a wear test of this dose of colors, um, and we'll be talking about it soon. I almost dropped this Norbina. And if I had dropped it and broke it, let me put her over there. See you later, crazy. Um, why do I keep dropping shit? What is wrong with me? Okay, I 
never mind. Okay, so let me just grab a pair. This is what happens when you have a whole bunch of damn brushes ah, on your damn desk that you need to go on and just put them away and stop acting like and you know this is like this psychological thing I have going on if they're on the desk I don't feel like they're dirty even though they are and then I don't feel like I have so many to wash until I put them over where in my little washing cups like okay but you need to wash it and um so that's like this whole thing I have but we're gonna see okay let's see if these gonna be all right all right let's see how these gonna do today Cause I've been having some lash issues lately. You ever had those times where you just can't get your lashes on? Well, them lashes are like, no, bitch, we're not coming on today. Oh, you thought you was gonna wear some lashes today? I'm gonna make you look stupid. I'm gonna have a, the corner is going to come up. You're gonna be out, and that corner is going to come up. How about that? What? Oh, I got, I got clean brushes. I got a whole thing of clean brushes. I got a whole thing of clean brushes, thank you. All right, let's put these lashes on. And now the moment of truth. Will I get this damn lash on right? Right. I got some clean brushes now. And lashes on. And the crowd roars. Yes, the lash is on. Yeah, it's totally on. Okay. All right, lash is on. Had to give. Well, Dre, you feel free to come over here and do that for me. I will take any help. I, I, re, I respect the kindness of strangers. Okay, so let's get this last one on. And then I will get to spray painting. Put on some clothes and spray paint. Put on a t-shirt. So yes, I will be outside spray painting in full beat. I will be spray painting my bed in full beat. Hey, this will be the test. Give me a second, y'all. Okay. Tightness. I always have one. You always gotta have one that wants to fuck with you. You always gotta have one lash that just does not want to work quite right. Okay. All right, there she's in. Let me make sure that edge. Cause ain't nothing worse than that little edge coming up on your lash. So you had a little wonky look. 
Okay. What just happened? Or reconnected? Was I off and buffering for a little bit? Was I buffering for a little bit? Um, hey, Nicole, well, I'm graying out, so I'm not dyeing my hair. I think it's all about when you feel comfortable with your gray. Uh, I don't think I should. So anyone should tell you when you should go gray or let your gray grow out. It should just be, you know what, I'm graying this bullshit out. So I decided a few years ago that I wasn't going to dye my hair anymore and I was just going to let it gray out. But I am graying slowly. Because I would like a little more gray right up in here. But I think, like I said, I think it's all about what makes you comfortable. Right, Karen, right, because you have, you, Karen, you have beautiful hair. So what I do is I don't put mascara on first. I always put it on just in the corners afterwards. And um, because I don't want, because putting mascara makes your eyelashes brittle. Uh, just saw the whole thing. Um, so they make your lashes brittle. So I don't do that. So I just do um, just in the corners so that I have some, you know, length to my inner corner lashes on the top. And then I do my bottom lashes. All right, so let's pick out a lipstick. What the hell? Oh, shit. Why is there a why is there a, a lash on my floor? Cause I had some lashes out and I done just lost a pair of lashes, child. I gotta figure out which pair this was that I forgot. I remember I took some lashes off one night and I was too lazy putting them back in their box and now they're gone. Fuck. And I know there's some of my right exactly. 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 I I beat my face to to spray my bed post. What? You ain't ready for that? Oh, this ain't about you ain't about this life. <laughs> okay. You not about this life? You not about this life, honey? Okay, Jan, we're going to do this. Bed post and beats. <laughs> what are we going to call it? Bed post and beats? <laughs> we're going to call it bed post and beats. Okay, Jan. Oh, this for you. This one. <laughs> I'm gonna put on the color rain. This is the implicated one from the uh, Power Collection. Let's just do this. I'm gonna. Okay. With a little gloss to bring it down just a little bit. Is this the one I wanted? No, this isn't the one I wanted. No, this is not what I want to Am I missing one? What the fuck? 
One, two, I bought five. Oh, there's the other one. Bed post and beats, baby. I'll put a little lip gloss on it. Just a little, just to bring it down just a little bit. And we made it. And we made it. So. Not too bad, not too bad. I'm gonna fluff out my hair and take a few pictures after I do my bed post and beats. Start on one side, get that, get the small one done, and then I'll start on the next one. Okay, I gotta say, I do really like my eyes. I didn't think I was. I was a little scared. I'm not even gonna lie. I was like, oh, bitch, what are you doing? Bitch, what are you doing? But I do like it. I do like it. I like her a lot. I like her a lot. She cute. She cute. She, she cute. She cute. She cute. Girl, you just got to keep blending. You just got to keep blending. You just got to keep blending until you, and when you think you have, are done, blend a little more. Thank you all. I appreciate it. Look at y'all. Make me feel like I'm good. So I'm going to go, maybe I should go to get my stuff first. Maybe I should go and get the stuff first. Yeah, let me fluff my hair out. Run, go get my vintage rose because it's sitting there waiting for me. And then get to doing my bed post and beats and clean my toilet <laughs> and clean my toilet okay be like I'm gonna go out there like what bitches what bitches all right y'all have a great day y'all know we made it to usually our usual two hours that's I'm so good with this shit thank you Sarah Sarah uh, yeah, I got to go get my package. Then I Look, okay, real talk. I have to go get two packages. I had something sent to Ulta for pickup at um, another Ulta store, and I forgot all about it. And now I got to go get it because they're like, bitch, we about to put your shit back. So I got to go get it right now. I got to go do that today, too. You all have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow because I will be going live tomorrow because, you know, during the week I'm tired. So we will go and do the August haul tomorrow. Talk to you later. Have a great day.